What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here or whatever the fuck you want to call this channel. I haven't been around in a little while. That's probably thanks to me playing a bunch of fucking Minecraft 2B2T and being stuck in the goddamn queue. Tomorrow morning is the Nintendo Direct for Pokemon. It's going to be super exciting. It happens really early in the morning. So if you want to catch my reaction to that shit live, you got to go over to eLive. It's at the top of the description. That's the channel that I stream from. Go over there, give that shit a subscription, throw the notification bell on so you don't miss out. It's gonna be a hot ass summer. I keep on telling y'all, so you might wanna stay in tune with your boy. In terms of the Direct tomorrow, be up early with me at 9 a.m. We're gonna be having 15 minutes of Nintendo Direct and that will be showcasing stuff from Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is something that we haven't had any information about ever since the initial trailer back in February. I don't know, man. It seems like every generation, Pokemon goes from giving us a lot of information all the time to giving us drips of information some of the time. X and Y, drips. Sun and moon, a lot. Like, dog. Is it the year of Pokemon in your eyes? I, I think it might be, dog. Detective Pikachu is a really fun movie. I mean, I know it's a little bit on the old side now. I'm sure most of you have seen it. I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people thought it was corny. Maybe it didn't really have the heavy duty story, but I mean, it's Pokemon. What kind of heavy story did you really expect to have? I mean, I just appreciate it for showing how Pokemon could potentially look in the real world. It was super fun seeing them show not just the Gen 1 Pokemon, but a bunch of other ones from different generations as well. But I mean, hey, if you didn't like it, go ahead and be a stick in the mud man and also shout out to the, all the other sticks in the mud too who are hating on sword and shield because of the graphics now i'll kind of take it just because i was excited about pokemon but i sort of saw after the fact a lot of people had well they, they kind of had a right to be upset because this is a whole new generation on a beautiful piece of hardware that could handle graphics on the level of breath of the wild and yet pokemon sword and shield gave us something which kind of looks less good than pokemon let's go nigga i can see where a lot of the youtubers who are saying pokemon's kind of slacking a little bit in terms of how they push the advancement of these generations yeah I, I can see where they're coming from even though i would love for a beautiful graphically designed pokemon game to exist that looks something like Breath of the Wild or another AAA console game. At the same time, man, you know, I, I accept what the universe is going to give me, dog. And if it wants me to play Pokemon that looks just like 7th gen on the 8th gen, uh, I'll take it. I'm a suck. Am I a sucker for that? Am I a fucking sucker? Am I a simp for that? Dog, I'm just excited, man. Do you see what these starters are looking like, bro? Like, Score Bunny, for crying out loud. Score Bunny sold me on the whole goddamn trailer. I mean, I, I, I remember Coral Coral was supposed to give us a stream of stuff when it comes to these new generation games and they haven't done jack shit the fake leaks that have been happening over the last few months have been so egregiously bad that they're not even worth talking about if the leaks are if they're that obviously fake especially since we have such high standards now when it comes to accepting what leaks are i mean dog you really expect me to talk about that the same way that i did back in the day nigga that shit's lame bro that shit's whack i want to talk about certified official real looking leaks dog not this shit but i'm sure the reason why a lot of these leaks are coming out is because we've had such a lack of information i'm just thirsty for some real shit now i mean now if the leaks were real if some of the leaks came out and they were actually legitimate then that's a different story and dog i don't know if you heard the news but game freak the guys who make pokemon they're kind of putting their priorities in different places the game freak is currently working in two halves one half working on pokemon and the other half working on something that they want to be bigger than pokemon so they're working on big projects over there maybe their priority isn't necessarily to push the eighth generation as hard this year we haven't seen any of the actual gameplay yet when it comes to battles or mechanics all we know is that you have clothing customization now thanks to that uniqlo t-shirt design contest now 15 minutes tomorrow morning is the only bit of information that we'll get this is not to say that nintendo can't deliver us a bombshell now we remember correctly about the the Super Mario Maker 2 Direct, 15 minutes in that Direct was a massive plethora of information for us, but who knows if actually this will be the same kind of thing. It might be a little bit more slow paced or maybe they're just gonna jam pack it. I hope that they do the latter of those two options. Now, if they don't manage to give us a bunch of information, then that just means that they're saving it for E3. This is going to be a big, big event. We all know when it happens, literally a week after this Direct goes down, I think on the 9th or something. I don't know, I put the right date in the video, but E3 is going to be huge. I'm not going to be at the actual event. I'm gonna be streaming everything like I usually do. So no big surprise there. I'll probably be trying to post a couple of highlight videos on my channel as well I'm, I'm looking forward to that event mainly for astral chain which is going to be that exclusive game that platinum's developing that looks crazy for the switch right now so niggas i'm just telling you if you if you if your balls don't get drained tomorrow they will get drained real real soon dog e3 is right around the corner baby and i know they gotta have some kind of big information for us we're probably gonna be hearing more about the switch iterations the new ones that are coming out maybe the pro or the mini i mean that's kind of been officially confirmed by a couple of really legit sources but we don't know for a fact obviously 
take all this shit with a grain of salt. But I'm just saying, the news sources were there. The motherfuckers talk about leaks. I'm motherfucker talking about leaks, dog. I'm excited. My my dick is heavy right now. So join me tomorrow morning where I will release it on camera with you all as you watch live. I'll see you on eLive tomorrow. It's at the top of the description. Go ahead and give that shit a motherfucking subscription. I'll see you at the uh, at the event. Peace.